Hey everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Biggie Mod Decals. This is something we haven't reviewed for quite a long time but we have here, I would say, a worthwhile release. It's a, a decal set for K852 Alligator, so it comes in 148 scale and it should be handy with uh, various kits as far as I remember Zvezda and Trumpeteer are producing this. Uh, so definitely it will be a good choice for modellers who would like to assemble something different from out-of-the-box markings and of course we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff if you order it from official Begimod website. So first of all I have to know that the packaging hasn't changed, we have ziplock back, we have also decals visible through the rear side, it's uh, easy to open bag and I will just take everything out in a second and we will take a closer look together. I can see that we get also the backing paper now for the decals. I think it was not included before, at least as far as I remember. So first of all, I suggest we start with the uh, decals and uh, here we have quite an interesting choice of the decals. So first of all, this uh, decal sheet is dedicated to various uh, numbers of the aircraft and as you can see we have a lot of uh, symbols here no segmentation whatsoever so you have to be careful while working with this but if I zoom in you can see that printing quality is really good and there is nothing to complain about we also have some white symbols here it's too bright because of the light but now you should be able to see what I'm talking about so overall it looks fine and I think these symbols uh, should be easy to apply but that's not all because we have more of them we have also so uh, this uh, uh, second decal sheet which is dedicated to various numbers and also stencils. So here you can see that we have uh, a lot of things again printed without any segmentation. So pay attention to which symbol you actually need. At least we have the numbers for each of the symbols so it will be easy to understand which symbol you need but that's pretty much all the help you can expect from the um, from this decal sheet and that's why I'm saying that it will be uh, quite important to pay attention to the symbols. And next one is quite interesting because here we have not only the symbols uh, Z and V but we also get the, um, the special lines for the canopy. So I'm not sure if they're visible on the camera, I hope they are, because these are actually those uh, special eject lines uh, which are breaking the glass and they are included as a decals. So this is quite an interesting division of these uh, symbols, let's say separation. And now what I'm doing is trying to open the marking guide, because marking guide is printed in color here, and I will place the here, this list or this let's say large paper and let's zoom out and check what is actually printed here. So first of all you can notice that we have the side profiles and there are not that many top and bottom views so for the camouflage I think it will be easy to connect this uh, two together and to get the right uh, shape of the markings but of course it would be better to have uh, both top and bottom but it wasn't possible to include it here I guess. So we have uh, more markings here as you can see and next we start with um, markings which are supplied with really minimal um, history notes if we can say so because uh, for this aircraft you have to find some reference material I guess. Uh, next we have more markings, we are already on the marking 29 so you can imagine what is the uh, choice here and how hard it will be to decide which marking you would like to choose. So here we continue with the marking already 40 and we have aircraft here from... I will need to pick up this uh, paper and check it because it's interesting where it's coming from, from Egypt. So I haven't even known before that this aircraft is actually operating in Egypt, which is quite interesting in my opinion. And next we continue with a bit more, I would say, up-to-date marking options because of the symbols as you can see. And uh, they are also copied uh, based on the uh, photos, based on the available material. So it's something to also check with your references or cross-check. And here we have uh, several more markings. So in total 54 markings, which is quite impressive. And we have the separate marking guide for the stencils and various armament on this aircraft. 
So overall, I think it's an uh, interesting choice for modelers who would like to have a different marking on their aircraft. In 148 scale, this should be a noticeable change, I would say. And you should be able to get it on Big Emote website. So if you would like to order it, just go there. I think also some of the UK resellers are selling these sets. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion. So do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. So stay tuned and bye.